I'm Regional Attorney Bill Kirstner of the Office of the General Counsel of the Federal Labor Relations Authority. In this video, we'll discuss labor management forums and pre-decisional involvement, a key feature of the forums. Labor management forums are teams of managers and labor representatives tasked with communicating about the workplace and developing mutually acceptable solutions to pending workplace matters. Section 1 of President Biden's Executive Order 14003 states, Career civil servants are the backbone of the federal workforce, providing the expertise and experience necessary for the critical functioning of the federal government. The White House Task Force on Worker Organizing and Empowerment, led by Vice President Kamala Harris, encourages establishing labor management forms at appropriate levels throughout federal agencies and to have the forms use pre-decisional involvement. LM forms complement the existing collective bargaining process by fostering collaboration between managers, employees, and their elected representatives with the goal of joint discussions about workplace matters before the statutory bargaining process starts and well before decisions are reached. Having a process for obtaining input before management decisions are reached is known as pre-decisional involvement, or PDI. Labor and management are in a long-term relationship, sharing mutual interests and goals. LM forms provide a place for each to communicate, collaborate, and build trusting relationships. LM forms foster the development of joint solutions, a labor management relationship based on trust, respect, and early communication enables federal employees through their elected labor representatives to provide a key source of ideas to improve government. Labor management forms do not always replace traditional collective bargaining, which remains the default process when forms are unable to resolve a matter. Sometimes bargaining will be unnecessary when consensus is reached on a solution. When agreement cannot be reached, both sides will enter negotiations with a better understanding of the issues. Even when traditional bargaining is necessary, bargaining will be more efficient as both sides already have communicated interests and discussed options. Regardless of whether an agreement is reached through the forum or through negotiation, decision-making is improved by the upfront, timely exchange of information and ideas. How can these forums be created in your workplace? First, agree upon a consistent time place and manner for labor and management to meet and to discuss ideas. Second, determine the topics your forum might address. There are countless topics labor and management could discuss. In addition to discussing matters pre-decisionally, forums may be used to reach agreement on changes to conditions of employment. Forums also serve as a place to discuss ideas to improve organizational performance, which can increase employee and manager satisfaction. The key is to jointly focus on problems and to develop joint solutions. Third, learn how to use PDI, pre-decisional involvement, as the method of conducting the forum meetings. So what is PDI? PDI is an extension of the collective bargaining process which uses earlier communication and often produces quicker and better results. PDI is a process that includes selecting issues, discussing the issue, brainstorming possible solutions, and when possible, consensing on agreement. However, there are some issues to be aware of. It is critical to reach a mutual understanding of your form's processes and procedures before discussing workplace matters. When forms fail to enter into an upfront agreement on operational matters, they may struggle when attempting to turn to substantive issues. These foundational matters include the topics listed here relating to who is on the form, what they do, when and how they do it, and what authorities they have to bind. Let's look at some of these considerations more closely. Regarding selecting discussion topics, generally all matters subject to bargaining may be included and other broader issues exceeding the scope of traditional bargaining may also be appropriate as forum topics. Occasionally though, discussions on certain topics may not be appropriate. These limited situations may include premature issues, disciplinary actions, and other matters applicable to one or a small number of employees. In these situations, the parties must remember that traditional bargaining obligations may still exist. For PDI to work often, data needs to be exchanged before form meetings occur. While unions may make statutory data requests, PDI presumes such requests often will be unnecessary. When data is shared, parties should discuss upfront when confidentiality is required. Through this process, the participants work as a problem-solving team, focusing on understanding each other's interests and concerns. PDI creates a team of problem solvers. The goal is to focus on the problem, not personalities. PDI requires both sides to step away from their traditional roles. 
Engaging in this process poses challenges to management, whose traditional role gives way to a practice of obtaining employee input through the employee's representatives. PDI may well be harder for unions who are now asked to assist management in dealing with difficult issues, devising solutions to tough problems, and explaining those decisions in a manner that encourages unit employees to embrace the agreed upon solutions. You may be thinking, this won't work at my work site. Labor and management are always at odds. Remember, nothing in the statute requires an adversarial labor management relationship. All relationships can be improved and labor management forms present an opportunity to examine your current relationship and to improve it. The challenge before you is to create a structure for success. Select appropriate issues, chart outcomes up front, be willing to accept that others' interests are as valid as yours, create solutions that satisfy all interests, be willing to reach a fair compromise and evaluate and measure results. By so doing, you will improve your working relationships and the ability of your agency to provide the highest level of service to the American public. To assist you further, the FLRA offers trainings through the Office of the General Counsel and the Collaboration and Alternative Dispute Resolution Office. And for more information, visit us online. And as always, feel free to contact the FLRA for assistance.